Hi everyone, this is Taylor Green with Custom Cloud Dev, and today I'm going to show a flow with the subflow, um, a pretty basic uh, solution, but um, it's just like a building block that you can use to do some cool things within a flow. So the idea is that, let's say you have a screen flow on a record page, and you use that to run whatever your uh, objective is. Um, let's say we're creating a record, and then uh, we have it pass that creation ID into a subflow, and then that subflow can do something else. So um, it's just like a small piece or methodology that you can build on to do some interesting things. So I'm just gonna walk through how that looks and uh, hope it's helpful. Okay, so what we're going to accomplish here is a, uh, a screen flow. We'll put in some information to create a record. And then we're going to pass that created record into a subflow, which displays in this same screen flow. And then uh, we'll be able to make updates on what was created in the first flow inside of the second flow. So in this example, they will be related, the same object, but you could do uh, separate, let's say, um, case and account or, um, you know, contact and account. Um, so the idea is that we're tying together flows. So I have these two flows. Um, this one is a screen flow, enter some information and create a case. So subject case origin, I'm using the, uh, pick list choice sets status, um, is from the case object. So just some simple uh, required fields to create the case. Then I'm going to create the case, place the uh, screen screen values here with the uh, with the object fields. And so then I have that object case. Then um, I'm going to launch the subflow. Um, what's important to know about launching the subflow is when you go to uh, set input values. When you select that subflow, uh, it won't let you put in the record ID unless you have the variable for that in your next flow. So let's skip over there. So we have the subflow here. Um, this one is going to start by getting the case. But before we get there, we have this variable record ID available for input. Once this flow is saved and activated, then it will allow you to place that value uh, here. Um, so it'll say record ID available, and then you say you can pass in the case that you created. So the first thing that happens in this flow is it gets the case. So these are two separate flows. And where I was saying we can use separate objects would be if we had an account for instance, that was related to a case, we can get the, I mean, we can use the relationships and say, um, give me the account um, who has a case ID of something, if it was like a lookup field, for instance, or uh, if you had a custom object, give me the contact whose XYZ object's ID is this ID, which is the one you created in the prior flow. So this is the main connection part. So we're gonna get that record. Now we have the information from the previous flow. Some things we can do now is we can display some data from the previous flow inside of this subflow. And then this one, just for a step further, we were going to make a modification to the flow, to the object uh, record that was created in the prior flow. So we have this change description. And then uh, we'll do the update, where here we can say the same thing, update ID equals case ID. Um, from the get case from this flow, or we could even say where ID equals record ID because this is still valid. They now equal the same thing. Um, so I placed it on a page so we could test it out. Okay, this is just a test case. Um, so what I'll start with, I'll just say this is a test subject, case origin web, status is new. When I press next, we are now in the subflow. The subflow has ran and gotten a case record from the past object. And we're now looking at this screen, which we can now see here. So you see, we enter this value, this value, this value. 
we didn't we didn't enter a description so now i'll say this description was entered from a subflow next okay now i'm going to go to a uh, a list view just to get that one that we built okay so that would be this one so you see this is the one that we created this description was added from the subflow this was uh from the original flow status and uh case origin um so i hope this is helpful this is a tool that i use frequently uh, when you have two separate things going on they're kind of related maybe you expand on it you have some decisions if this is the case then launch this subflow otherwise if this is the case launch that subflow and you could really uh get some pretty nice flows going, but uh, it's all hinged off of the uh, subflow. So hope this is helpful and uh, thank you.